Welcome back to the Web Dev Coach, where my goal is to teach you web development. In this video, we'll be adding styles to our random quote machine uh, using Google's Material Design. We'll be using a, a React library called Material UI, and I'll step you through installing that and everything during the video. As a refresher, in the last video, we added a functionality to the button which chooses a random quote from the fetched quote data. And we also created a quote machine component that um, houses all the logic for the actual quote machine. So the app can just be responsible for uh, basically rendering out the quote machine and the quote machine takes care of the quote machine logic. Anywho, let's get to adding some styles. Let's get to uh, installing Material UI. But first things first, what is Material UI? Material UI is a React implementation of Google's Material Design. It's really easy to install. It's really easy to use. Uh, if you're not familiar with Material UI, go ahead and head on over to material-ui.com, and it'll the, all the documentation is very easy to read. It'll tell you how to install Material UI, how to uh, implement it, how to implement a theme. And um, once you're done with all that, come back here to the video, and you'll Actually, I'll actually uh, walk you through implementing Material UI into your random quote machine that uh, we've been building together in these videos. So go ahead, check out the website, and uh, come on back. All right, here we are uh, back at our code. And to get started with Material UI, of course, we need to install the Material UI core components. To do so, we'll uh, type npm install at Material hyphen UI forward slash core. And um, with using Material UI, it's, it's been created to use the uh, Roboto font uh, pretty extensively, almost exclusively. So we'll also want to install uh, typeface hyphen Roboto as well. Um, I just started running that command and I'll be back right after it's all done. All right, so here we are back at our app. Uh, the typeface Roboto and the Material UI core components have both finished installing. Um, the first thing I want to do, uh, let's take a look at what our application looks at the current moment. You'll see it's really simple. Um, it does work, but um, it's not the best looking application in the world. The first thing I want to do is uh, change the font. Uh, to do so, in, to use Roboto uh, application-wide, we want to import typeface Roboto in the root uh, component of our application. That root component is app.js. So now we imported Roboto for use uh, throughout the entire application. Let's get to actually using it. Um, here in our quote machine.js, um, if we have a selected quote prop, we actually want to, I'm just going to make some space to make this a little easier to read. Um, add a parentheses. We want to use the typography component supplied to us by the Material UI uh, library. So let's import typography from Material UI core forward slash typography. And um, when we have that, we want to um, render out props that selected quote dot quote uh, a hyphen and uh, props dot sorry props dot selected quote dot author just like that and um, we'll delete this here um, and else we will render nothing let me close this bracket right up and let's go back here see our application refresh and hopefully see the font change with uh, our new typography um, component. And you'll see here that the font did change. Uh, additionally, since we're using a typography component, the button is on the next line. So it stays on the line and we have the uh, pretty Roboto font. Nice job. We changed the font. Let's try to get this centered here in the middle next. All right, so here we are back at our uh, app.js. Just to be sure that we're using 100% um, material UI and not any uh, CSS given to us by Create React App, I'm actually going to go ahead and delete the app.css file and delete this class name here. When I do so, you'll see that it fails to compile because I actually need to delete the import statement up top. Um, Anywho, so this is what our application 
would look like. It's rendered at the top left corner, and we want to render the quote machine right in the middle. Uh, to start, we'll actually uh, use replace this with a grid component, and this grid component uh, we can actually go ahead and import from at material you uh, I mean at material UI forward slash core, and um, the grid component. Uh, we have to make it a container component. We do that by uh, typing in container and it has a prop called justify and it could take in a string such as center and that way the uh, quote machine will be centered in the middle. Actually, I should say any grid item will be centered uh, in the middle. So we should actually make this here a, a grid item. And we'll get that, and we'll move the quote machine in between in between the uh, grid components there, and uh, it should still look uh, pretty similar to what we have now. So that is our uh, current layout using the Material UI grid components. Now we want to center it uh, vertically, and you'll notice the uh, button moved, but we'll be fixing the button. Uh, anyhow to be to use a material UI button back at our application we want to make uh, we want to create a styles object uh, this is again following the uh, material UI uh, way of doing things we'll create a uh, object inside the styles object called root and inside this object we can pass um, basically react styles to uh, fix up our um, components. So uh, we'll want to add the styles to the root component. And uh, again, our root component is the container component right here on the outside. Um, as a matter of fact, I'll call it container to avoid any um, you know mistakes in the future. So we'll use Flexbox to vertically center the um, the quote machine, or the I should say the grid item on the inside. So we'll use Flexbox. Um, our height will be 100% of the uh, height of the viewport. And uh, we'll want to align items in the center. And I believe that's it. That should work to, um, to move the quote machine to the middle. To add that, we want to add class name equals uh, this dot props dot classes dot um, container and that right now uh, it won't add the the styles we need to use the styles tell the application to actually use the styles um, and import the styles into the prop and we do that by calling with styles here on the bottom we pass that uh, we pass the styles into that function and that'll return a high order component uh, where we could uh, pass in the app component. And that way the classes prop gets um, filled in with these styles. So let's go back and check out our application, see if uh, we are actually able to vertically center it. And there you go. Our um, our quote machine is vertically centered on the page. I know that here was a lot to take in. Um, it assumes an understanding of the Material UI foundation. But again, I implore you to go ahead, please go to the Material UI documentation and understand how um, the with styles uh, function works and how we can pass in styles and that propagates the uh, this the props um, object with a classes object. Um, next up, what we want to do is actually fix the quote machine, add a few more styles, and then we'll be uh, home free. All right, so here in our, um, let's go into our quote machine. Um, I said we'll be fixing this up to make it look uh, better, to be honest. Uh, we'll be actually using the uh, material UI component called card. So let's import that. Let's also import two other components, one called card actions. Um, and let me copy and paste that here. Oops. This isn't working. There we go. 
and another called card content. And I'll uh, give copy and, copying and pasting a shot. So we imported everything we needed uh, right there. And to use card, it's as simple as surrounding everything with the card component and then surrounding this here with card content. Just like that. Uh, perhaps I could even spell it correctly. And let's take this and put that inside the card content. All right, just like that. Now, um, lastly, we want to uh, encapsulate the button with card actions, just like that. Okay, and um, to be fair, let's spell that correctly, I actually want to not use my button that I created. I want to use the material UI button that they created. Trust me, it's a lot nicer looking. So uh, we're going to actually import the button from uh, material UI core forward slash button just like that. And um, uh, let's take next quote and Oops. Yep, yeah, sorry. Let's take next quote and move that here. And this will be on click. And the size of this will be small. Uh, now we're using the material UI button. We can actually delete this component because it's no longer being used. Uh, let's go back to our application and take a look at what that looks like. And this is uh, all material UI. Um, you know, styling, I did not style a thing. And you'll see that this looks a ton better. We have a hover case for our button and um, we have a you know box shadow around the card. This looks a hundred times better. Um, I do want to make this a uh, steady width. That way it's not expanding and contracting every single time. And let's see if we can do that. To fix the um, expansion and contraction of the card, we're actually just going to make the item, the outer item, a bit bigger. We're going to make it um, material UI uh, works on a 12 column grid. We'll make the card 11 columns on extra small screens. And when we get up to, let's say, um, a large screen, we'll make it eight columns. So let's go back to our application and you'll see the card is a lot bigger. Um, the height is resizing, but the width is staying steady. And let's make it a little smaller. And that way we can see that the card is now 11 columns wide. Beautiful. We added some styles to our quote machine. It doesn't look perfect. It's very white right now, but it does look 100 times better than what it did. Please rewind to the beginning of the video and just see how bad our quote machine actually looked. Uh, sure, we can add styles. If you're looking to add styles to this, make sure to check out Material UI themes to learn how to create your own theme and add the theme to your uh, random quote machine. Um, if you didn't understand any part of the video, please look at the Material UI uh, documentation or look back at this video and try to um, look at it the second time and see if you'll understand it the second time. Um, I hope you liked the video. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up below click subscribe and until next time this is the web dev coach peace